How large were the navies of the major powers by the date of the armistice, 11th of November 1918, ending the First World War? Britain had 33 dreadnoughts, 17 free dreadnought battleships, 9 battle cruisers, a few armoured cruisers, but these had mostly become obsolete by this point anyway. So armoured cruisers are not going to count in this video going forwards. 82 light cruisers, 407 destroyers, 137 submarines, and one aircraft carrier. Technically, more aircraft carriers were present, but these were really just merchant convoy ships, refitted with a massive plank on top. The British Navy had the only official carrier, the first of its kind, and of full length. This was the HMS Argus. If you want to know how many merchant aircraft carriers they had, it was about 16. That was the British Navy. France had 7 dreadnoughts, 10 pre-dreadnought battleships, 0 battle cruisers, 10 plus light cruisers, 85 destroyers, and 70 submarines. Russia. Russia was of course an absolute mess at this point, with the revolution and mutinies. I sadly can only just find info on the dreadnoughts. They were completely gone by this point and information is very difficult to find. Dreadnoughts. They had seven by the time they backed out of the war, but one was scuttled in the meantime, so by the 11th of November they had six. And sadly, that is all I can say for certain on Russia. Germany. 17 dreadnoughts, 10 pre-dreadnought battleships, 5 battle cruisers, 20 light cruisers, 140 plus destroyers, and 150 plus submarines. Austria-Hungary. 4 dreadnoughts, an unknown number of pre-dreadnought battleships, 0 battle cruisers, 6 light cruisers, 18 destroyers, and 15 submarines. Italy. 5 dreadnoughts, 5 pre-dreadnought battleships, 0 battle cruisers, 10 light cruisers, 35 destroyers, and 30 submarines. The Ottomans. 0 dreadnoughts, 2 pre-dreadnought battleships, 0 battle cruisers, about 2 light cruisers, about 3 destroyers, and about 2 submarines. Although, these were all very, very outdated by this point. Japan. 6 dreadnoughts, 3 pre-dreadnought battleships, 4 battle cruisers, 16 light cruisers, 55 destroyers, and 30 submarines. And last but not least, the United States. 16 destroyers, 17 pre-dreadnought battleships, 0 battle cruisers, 5 light cruisers, roughly, 110 destroyers, and 80 submarines. These numbers are nowhere near as accurate as the ones in my 1914 video, due to a variety of factors. Some nations had completely fallen apart. Many ships had become so outdated that some sources don't even consider them anymore. Many ship styles had gone out of favour, and some sources count damaged ships whereas others do not. Overall, this has been a nightmare to research. I will now compare the numbers to the 1914 numbers. But, just because you see a massive dip in some, does not mean that a load of ships were sunk. But, how many were sunk? Very few big ships, as for most of the war, the British and German fleets just stared each other down. Most naval operations were limited to U-boat submarines, and the hunting of them. The main naval battle of the First World War, the big one, was Jutland in 1916. Here are the British losses. 3 battle cruisers, 3 armoured cruisers, 8 destroyers. And the German losses. 1 pre dreadnought battleship, 1 battle cruiser, 4 light cruisers, and 5 torpedo boats. To put it into perspective, that one lost battle cruiser of Germany was the only one they lost throughout the entire war. And those 3 sunk British battle cruisers were the only ones they lost in the entire war. In terms of dreadnoughts, Austria-Hungary lost one, Russia lost one, Britain lost two, and that was it. As for pre-dreadnought battleships, again across four years of war, Germany lost one, Austria-Hungary lost one, Britain lost eleven, France lost four, 
Italy 2 and Russia 1. As for lighter ships, it appears Britain lost around 170 destroyers and 130 submarines because it was these smaller, fast ships that were active, protecting shipping lanes. But again, these figures are very shaky, and a lot of these, again, might have just been strapped ships. It doesn't mean that they were sunk. Here are the totals for both sides as of the 11th of November, 1918. The Central Powers, 17 Dreadnoughts, 10 Free Dreadnought Battleships, 5 battle cruisers, 20 Light Cruisers, 140 plus destroyers and 150 submarines versus the Entente, 67 dreadnoughts, 52 pre-dreadnought battleships, 13 battle cruisers, 123 light cruisers, 700 plus destroyers and 340 plus submarines. This video was an absolute mess to research but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. These figures are likely off by quite a bit so just bear that in mind. I did the best I could with what I had. World War 2 is coming. Subscribe to get notified of that video. It should certainly have more accurate numbers. Thank you for watching, comment your thoughts down below and subscribe to get notified of future episodes.